Well, welcome to Ravensdale Bible Academy. Today's course introduction is Think Again Christian Fake News. This is part of our Think Again Christian critical thinking series where we're asking the students to actually think and, and process that which they're which they're they're studying and looking at. We we want our students to be like the Bereans, to test things to see if they are so, to to use their minds to think critically about what's being said to them. In today's day and age, especially in our microwave society, uh, we want information fast, we want it short, and that's really a horrible way for us to get information. But it is the way uh, that our students are, are hearing and getting information more and more and more, whether it's through social media platforms like Facebook or Twitter, uh, Instagram, uh, you know, or just a quick Google search, we really don't see uh, people really researching and studying anymore. They, if, if they can't find it in 20 seconds or less, then they're really not that interested. And so that's a problem. So what you really need to do is learn how to, how to think through and process the information. So our Think Again Christian Fake News course is specifically designed to help our students uh, understand if the news that they're receiving is real or fake. And so we do this in a unique way where we're going to take our students through a series of, of slides, a series of slides. Uh, typically, these are going to be political slides. They're going to be statements that are made from uh, politicians, from news reporters. And we're kind of combining two things, statements that are made by politicians and news reporters, and we're looking at logical fallacies. And so we're going to take the common logical fallacies, you know, straw man argument, ad hominem, um, the, these, you know, types of arguments uh, the, that are false and, and used all the time in debate. They're used all the time in reporting news. And so we need our students to to understand, okay, is, is this like some kind of diversion? Is this like big conclusions with little evidence? Uh, is, is this report failing to disclose key material facts and so is really fraudulent? Uh, is, is the news being reported kind of an anecdotal situation, you know, a personal uh, experience? And so we want our students to understand that you know what, actually what I'm listening to is a logical fallacy. Th this is not sound reasoning, this is not facts, this is not factual news. Uh, one of the things that we're seeing more and more is, is we're seeing fact checkers, right? And it's like, well, who's fact checking the fact checkers? And so we want you to think about that. We, we want you to think through that. Wait a minute, um, who are the fact checkers that are, that are checking the news? And that's one of the reasons why we see more and more news is fake. Are our news reports news or are they entertainment? Is it a comedy show and satire or is it actually a news show? Do, do our news shows exist just for the pure uh, reason and source for giving us information and news? Or are our news media outlets really uh, entertainment companies that are that are financial institutions, that are businesses looking to draw a crowd so that they can sell advertising so that they can make money. Well, that makes a big difference because that's the biggest difference between what real news is and what actually, this is just another form of some kind of entertainment. Is there bias behind the news? Do, do news outlets actually have political an ideological bias. Well, by evaluating slides, by evaluating uh, clips and quotes, we are going to walk our students through the process so that you understand really even what are the steps in understanding whether or not this information uh, that I'm receiving is true. I remember when I was in college, the statement being made, uh, don't believe anything you hear and only half of what you see. Now, that may sound cynical, but the truth is uh, you have to be very, very careful what you're taking in, especially in today's day and age where we see more and more uh, 
false information, more and more misleading information, and actually flat out fake news. And so this is going to be an incredible class. Not only are you going to learn uh, up-to-date information, political information, news information, but more importantly, you're going to learn how to be a critical thinker so that the fake news doesn't have a negative impact on your soul, on your life, and on your family.